Hey everyone, Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video, I wanted to quickly show you, um, I got a question from, from uh, one of our Tiz members here, Jason. Jason asked me, um, do I think it's a good idea to put a Zillow widget on their website? And um, the answer is, it depends. All right, and uh, here's a couple things, just one question that I would love, I want to make sure to everybody before taking tools from places like Zillow or Realtor.com or Homes.com, any of those Trulia, any of those big you know, industry ones, um, Jason's website is this website here. It's improta.com. Then, and then on this website, they're targeting one of their key areas that they're targeting is Calabasas. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Google at the same time right now, while that's loading up. I'm just gonna gonna go ahead and go to Google real quick. And uh, here on Google, if we type in Calabasas Homes, we'll see that their website here, their website here, improta.com, their website is on the first page of Google right here at the bottom it's uh, in proto.com right but here's the thing I wanted to show you alright so here's the you know the question being asked is um, is what do you think of the Zillow widget on, on our website and I, I put a test one here on the demo tizish site at demo.tizish.com and you'll see here on the right hand side you see the mortgage calculator basically um, it's a good tool so to answer the question uh, what do I think of this mortgage calculator I think it's a really good tool however here's the things you need to consider Look at look what the tool is doing. If this tool is on your website, see how this is a link right here? This link takes me to Zillow's Mortgage Center, right? Which means I'm linking to Zillow.com directly. And then there's another link here, and then we have another link here. Basically means this same widget is sending three links to Zillow. And normally that's not a really big deal if you're getting something good in return like this. However, let's now look at Google. If you're competing on the first page of Google, like you see here, Calabasas Homes, and look who's right behind you, Zillow competing for the exact same keywords then in this instance I don't think it's a good idea to use uh, Zillow's free tool because when you use Zillow's free tool what you're doing when you put this on your site is you're linking out to Zillow so what that could potentially do in the eyes of Google if they see that this website here is linking to Zillow here well then that could potentially and once the once Google realizes it that could potentially help this Zillow site move higher than the site that's now linking to it because in the eyes of Google if this website is linking to Zillow that must mean that Zillow is pretty important which could then help it rank higher than the, uh, than your competing site so um, hopefully that answers the question basically the question being asked is is um, it do you think it's a good idea to put this widget on your site and the answer is yes and no and the only time I would say no is when you look at the search engine results because remember Zillow is always competing against you for search engine traffic um, and uh, so keep that in mind, especially with the fact that you know they're uh, they're um, trying to IPO, you know, go public and everything. Depending on when you're watching this video, it um, that just really speaks to the fact that they are, although they're giving the free tools and everything, they're competing for you for the same traffic. And if I if it was me, I wouldn't give up my position in the search engines for free tools offered by a company that's competing for me, competing against me for the same traffic. All right. So that's everything. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, the way you see it spelled here, and ask me there. Good luck. Take care.